Hey, how are we? My name's Norman, I'm going to show you around today. Hi. Guys, welcome, welcome to the greatest club in the world. Yeah. This here's your Cali. She didn't want to be the coach either, but I'm going to make sure she's in it too. <laughs> so we always got a smile and walk through this door with Cali. Okay. Guys, you've no idea what a big treat this is. Looking good. I used to stay in uh, the high flats in Brimlon Court, so I used to be able to watch Rangers train in the Albion. See the difference. <laughs> well, I went to Govan High when a uh, Dysart burnt down and we ended up at Neil Bella Academy. And every day lunchtime, we were outside the, the doors of Ibrox getting autographs, it was brilliant. This is it. This is it. This is where it all happens. Jim Laird uh, used to live in Foxbar, Paisley, it's my daughter Lisa, it's my grandson Tyler, and this is my wife Alison. We've been in holiday in uh, Mexico visiting um, Alison's sister and her husband and uh, the day we were due to fly home uh, we had packed and we were getting organised and getting ready to get down to the pool for the last couple of hours and we got a phone call from my daughter to say that the, the house was on fire and that uh, the fire brigade uh, was there. Um, and that Tyler was in an ambulance, which was the most concerning thing. Um, and it turned out that Tyler had been in to, to rescue her two dogs. So Tyler had been staying along with my older son in the house, and they'd only been out of the house about an hour. Um, Tyler had a game with the school team, and typical Tyler had forgot his football boots, and was having to come back over to the house to get them, and saw the smoke uh, and ran over. And his first thought was to, to go in and try and rescue the two dogs. And what, you know, made it worse was he could hear them um, scratching at the door and yelping and stuff like that. But he managed to find a, a window that was closed but hadn't been locked uh, and get some garden furniture and piled up together and managed to climb in the window and rescue the two dogs with no thought for himself. But obviously suffered from smoke inhalation and then had to go into the ambulance and um, get oxygen. Uh, fortunately, uh, he's okay. It was scary. I'd I tried to go through the front door, but there was just too much smoke. Um, so I just kind of came out, phone 999, and then they were telling me not to go in. Um, but obviously I had to go in and get the dogs. Uh, so I just climbed through a tiny wee window, like my granddad said, and, and unlocked the back door from the inside, and then just got them out. But that's that's the main thing, it's no, no one was kind of injured or anything. Had a season ticket for more years than I care to remember. I was born and brought up in Gullin. This has always been my team. So, I mean, we've got four season tickets now as a family go. Every home game, obviously, if we can get tickets for away games, um, then we go to away games as well. Um, follow them in Europe, everywhere. Followed them all my life. Been watching them since I was about that height. Good to see you. Hi, Alex. Nice to see you. Hi, Alex. Nice to see you. Okay. Have a good day. Lovely to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 You've ended up with a signed picture of me, but unfortunately <laughs> you have, all right. So who's taking them off of me? Who's the boss around here? Are you sure? And there are your season tickets there. All right, all right so we tickets. give you your season oh, tickets yeah. there because we know you've had a really rough time as a family Fantastic. and everything. And Fantastic. Don't you me This is the least we can do for all the support that you give us and, and the team and everything. And, uh, yeah. Come on, I'll show you my office and that before you go. Come on, we'll see if we can bump into some of the players as well. I know you watch the training. Thank you. 